This is Chicago's very own WGN News at 9. Still ahead, 3D printing could mean big things for a life-changing medical procedure. On the Medical Watch, pre-op printing. Surgeons prep for complex procedures using 3D replicas of their patient's anatomy. And for one little boy, a result off the growth charts. He is the smallest in his class. Um, only in body, in personality, maybe the biggest. Five-year-old Miles Harima is like any other typical kindergartner, full of energy. And now that a severe curve in his spine has been straightened, growing. We can see the, the, the curve in the upper portion of the spine and then, and then the, kind of the S curve in the lower part of the spine. The twists and turns were the result of an entangled mass that derailed the vertebra. Miles has neurofibromatosis, a condition that causes tumors to grow on nerves throughout the body. The tumors growing in and around the spine and consequently a, a spine that ordinarily should be straight uh, can become uh, very crooked in a very short period of time. But even more important than straightening his spinal column and preventing pain and paralysis, giving Miles more room to breathe. Because the spine is not growing larger, the chest cage cannot grow larger, and as a result of that, the lungs cannot grow larger. Detailed and crisp images give Shriners Hospital spine surgeon Kim Hammerberg a near comprehensive view inside. But this tiny 3D model gave him an even better feel for what lay ahead. Rather than just looking at these two x-rays or the CT scan and trying to put this together in our head, we have a model and we can turn it around and look at the front of the spine and we can Look at the side. And that allows doctors to measure the area where screws will attach the metal rods to bony structures so they have the right instrumentation on hand. And after the growth rods were placed along Miles' spine, instant inches. And if you look at this dark area, which is the lung field uh, before surgery, and now look at the lung field after surgery, it's much improved. It's much larger. The surgery itself added four inches, so that was huge. He went from 36 to about 40, um, and he was growing like this, and now you can see he's nice and tall and looks so much better. We showed him a mirror of what he looked like, and he was like, I am so tall. Miles will have the rods adjusted as he continues to grow. The 3D models are used for complex procedures, but doctors at Shriners Hospital for Children treat a wide range of orthopedic conditions, spinal cord injuries, and burns. You can learn more on our website. Back to you.